All right, uh, I want to cover two stories, uh, news uh, reports in this video. It's with regards to UAE expat travels, and I'll also couple it with the uh, the expats who have been sending me private messages, their experience, what they've gone through. Some people managed to make it to UAE, some were sent back, some are stuck in God knows uh, some other country uh, because now the airlines have changed their rules. So I'll uh, read out, I'll give my thoughts in between. In case you know any uh, better information or uh, just either you can uh, comment there and if you don't feel safe or you feel you want your privacy send me a private email or whatsapp message okay having said that the first one <coughs> is taken from Khalid times i'll read it out just clicking that article links will be put down below so this is the Khalid Times article dated August 8. I read it before, but I wanted to verify before I, uh, you know, because anything comes in the media, you should not just accept it. You should ask people and find out if someone has gone through this. Okay. What it says, airlines clarify rules for stranded expats who got a COVID jab in their home country. So what it says here, Stranded residents flooded the social media handles of both airlines with queries as soon as the new rules were announced. Now, stranded UAE residents who are stuck outside UAE received the COVID shield in India will not be able to return at the moment as per UAE national carriers, Emirates Airlines and Etihad Airways who are reiterating that only those vaccinated in UAE Will we fly? Will we be permitted to fly back for now? Okay. <clears throat> now the reason for this, I checked with a couple of airlines senior people. Uh, the reason for this is, is because there are a lot of fake certificates, a lot of fake vaccines. Yeah, there are even people who have been given, I don't know what, maybe water or jabs of water, and and there are some people who have literally contacted others who have issued them certificates. I mean, India is notorious for these fake papers and fake educational degree certificates and fake attestation. And in my previous videos, you'll it has seen, especially the one CoffeeZilla, where I have shown actual certificates, MBA degrees. There are even people who have PhDs, and I, I get messages almost every every week, which I forward it to the local authorities. Uh, People want a degree, fake uh, doctor's qualification, engineers, PhD, and they are ready to offer big money, either for travel or for starting their career. So India is very notorious for that, very, very notorious. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in other countries, but given India's population of 1 billion, the number of incidents are much more in India. So. Now what is happening is, uh, in India, out of desperation, people are not doing this because they're evil or they are bad. They're desperate. I've spoken to so many, chattered I mean, people who have to pay their loans. People who have to, either they have to pay in India or they have to pay in UAE. People are separated from their spouses, from their children. I mean, I spoke to a couple who want to return back to the UAE to continue work. And they have loans. Their children, the funny thing, their children are stuck in UAE. They are stuck in India. Just imagine the jumblocks. And they are, they are busy taking money from their savings and sending it back home to UAE to pay for uh, the education and house and loan. It's a terrible situation. So UAE, to protect its it's security and especially I told you Expo, no? They can't jeopardize Expo. See, now UAE said, oh, we are so happy in Arabian business that we are off the UK's red list. Why? Why are they kissing the ass of UK's white ass? Why? 
because foreign exchange comes in they don't want people who will work hard who are normal who are uh, average income earners they want people who have money to blow they want tourists they want people who will blow one month salary on booze they want people who will blow money on uh, beaches on massage on expensive overpriced items they want black money to come in they want rich people and if you are an indian only if you are rich and you have lot of money to invest welcome gold visa okay if you are a doctor you are useful to the country uae is not doing anything wrong i i have told you this uae is not your friend uae is uae is not a charitable organization uae is not india in fact the indian government cannot take care of its own indians then why should uae take care of indians as long as you are useful uae will have you there the day you are useless they'll throw you out and this is my response you you remember those comments which were there when they announced okay uae opens up indians pakistani sri lankans welcome back how many guys commented below eh, fuck you uh, boy this is a middle finger to you for your fake news channel for your sorry ass for misleading people uh oh and some people even put word, like stuff bastard was uh, feeding his wife and kid uh, misleading others i'm going back to the uae so this will teach you a lesson will expose your channel what did i what did i respond there i just said give it a few days we'll see what's what my open challenge to you give it a few days and i even posted a video so now what happened now where are those indians oh uae is my motherland oh uae is my country oh the sore loser he got deported ha 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 that is why he talk shit about uae now where are these people where see you know when i had posted that 10 reasons why i left uae or 10 reasons not to go to uae sorry people were busy putting oh loy is a loser a loser always cries winners don't oh he got deported oh this is his revenge oh i heard he was in jail Uh, and they say uae is my motherland uae i love uae baba you are not a citizen of the country you are an outsider so in the same way these uae people expats sorry uae expats no matter what i tell them there's always a new idiot a new sucker a new fool will come and tell you oh uae is my motherland an indian some raj kumar or uh, Uh, rakesh or uh, why only are sham or uh, even uh, christian in joe's joe's uh, korean or richard de cruz or sam name uh, uae is home to us uae is my motherland in fact there was an article from college times that said a maldives couple finally we are going back home baba what home what home the day your visa expires they'll kick you out in fact it's so comedic Indian passport holder is calling UAE home where they have to pay money uh, to live there they have to show a working visa and the day that working visa or the money is gone they'll kick you back and then home they kicked you and then when you go back to India oh this was my motherland why what happened to motherland before why do you think indians call all these nris refugees why do you think indians do not like nris because they are like You know, fuck you, man. You left us when you got big money. Now, when they threw you out, you came back here. Don't come. Okay, UAE authorities last week announced fresh exemption from six countries where flights were suspended: India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Uganda, and Nigeria. However, Dubai-based airlines Emirates later announced the suspension of flights from Nigeria had been extended at least August 15. Yes, what you want, my daughter? Yes, what you want? Say bye bye. Hmm. becoming big man okay so nigeria has been extended to august 15 see this is a problem what i told you uae changes its laws like changing underwear today one rule tomorrow one rule tomorrow oh sorry change to that rule they have to tomorrow oh, here we have an exemption to the rule standard residents flooded the social media both airlines with queries as soon as new rules were announced key among the queries was whether it's necessary to take vaccines in the uae only passengers with valid uae residence visa okay now pay attention to this one only passengers with a valid uae residence visa 
and and who have been fully vaccinated in the UAE. So valid residence visa number one, vaccinated in the UAE, not in India or Sri Lanka or Pakistan, and who hold a vaccination certificate issued and approved by the UAE and after approval being issued a uh, permission to return to UAE. Got it? See how easy it is? So first you need to be a valid resident of UAE. Then you need to have taken the vaccination in UAE. Then you need to get a certificate from UAE. Then you need to have applied online for approval. And once they give you the approval, then come back. Okay. Now, this is what Emirates Airlines said on Sunday in response to query from a Twitter who had taken the Moderna jab. So this Twitter handle Mahan said, uh, he's asking whether he can come or whatever. Hi Mahan, only passengers with valid UAE resident visa who have been fully vaccinated in UAE, who hold a official vaccination certificate, who have been approved by authorities and who are permitted to return. Easy, right? Okay. Next one, one Twitter handle guy Rajiv says, uh, is there any chance for passengers vaccinated in India to travel to Dubai? Answer, hi Rajiv. As of now, only passengers vaccinated in UAE, not India, not India, I'm saying, are allowed to travel from India to Dubai. So you should have been vaccinated in UAE first, then gone to India. Then see the, the most funny statement after that. The requirements keep changing. <laughs> like we change our underwear, the requirements keep changing. You can keep yourself updated here. Link, DM us with the, your questions. See. Here's the problem. I told you this before, I'm telling you this again. UAE's priority, UAE, right now, especially Dubai, is Expo 2020. So whatever they can do to protect, number one, Expo 20, they will do. Second one is, whatever they can do to boost Expo 20. If you are a resident, well, it can help. People are there, there'll be some business, you need, you need people for day-to-day -day work and everything. But they don't want to take you if they know you have even an iota, even one person liability. Reason being is, they don't give a fuck about you. You are just a 5,000, 10,000 dirham earning employee per month who's working there getting benefits, not paying taxes. It doesn't benefit them. How many times do I have to tell you this? So now what they have said is, fine, we need people to run the economy, but you come here provided all our stringent requirements are met. It's like uh, getting an admission for an Ivy League college. The standards are very high. The probability of you getting in is very low. The people who qualify are even less. That is why when that news came out, India finally, UAE finally opens up travel. Welcome back. I was like, huh? And then people were bashing me up and making fun of me and all that. Which is what I told you. Give it a few days, sweetie. Give it a few days, my children. Let's see what happens. Now the very same guys are quiet. So all I want to tell you is, please uh, don't uh, take the media news seriously. When you land there, after you land there, then jump with joy. Don't jump with joy beforehand. Okay? Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you. The other thing that I'll be sharing next is, I'll split this video into half. Uh, uh, what uh, residents who have landed in UAE have shared, uh, what residents who have turned away have shared, and what are some of the solutions that people have been telling me. So, put your comments below this video. Let me know what you think. And this is me signing off. You guys take care. Right? Ciao.